Deportiva y con Sui. Deportiva y con Sui. La factoría del deporte de este New York para ti. Es una máquina. Es una máquina. Pensada para ti. Pensada para ti. Número uno en las redes sale la que Con informaciones importantes siempre frescas. Y con entrevistas que te ponen de cabeza. Lo mejor del deporte lo encontrarás aquí. Búscale en las redes sale la que Suscríbete. Ay sí. Infórmate. Ok. Dale a la campana para que te Blake, from your perspective, what's been the biggest challenge for this team through this series so far? Uh, there's several things. I mean, I think defensively, we just haven't been a cohesive unit. Um, and I mean, I'm sure you guys are seeing it, but the way Boston plays defense, um, it's like what they do is, is pretty special. They do it at a high level. <clears throat> Offensively, we just haven't gotten to that groove where um, everything's clicking. And, and against a defense like that, you, you have to have everything clicking. I mean, they close so quickly on, on everybody. Um, we just need to do a better job of attention to details and, and do a better job of executing on you know, our, our big main game plans. Coming off the floor, you know, when you lose a game, you're down 0-3. What's the conversation among teammates? You know, what's the vibe at that point? Obviously, nobody, nobody's even remotely um, happy or content. We're all frustrated, but um, you know, especially those guys that have played in the playoffs for a long time know that, you know, series is It's far from over. Um, you know, we get one more game at home and we need to do a good job of coming out ready to play from the beginning. Um, and, you know, you have to put like teams like this, you have to put a, a full 48 together. It can't be 40, it can't be 44. Um, it has to be a full 48. And um, I think our energy needs to be good tomorrow, uh, Monday, and shoot around and, 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 and transfer that into the game Monday night. Blake, Steve had said that he wasn't planning on changing the rotation at all. He was going to stick with the same guys that he played in game one and two. Just did you anticipate playing? And I guess what was the feeling when your name got called? Because we haven't seen you for a while. Um, anticipate, you know, you, I, I've tried to stay ready at every moment. Um, you know, most of the time it looks like you're not going to play. You're normally right. But um, they told me and, um, and I was ready. Um, but that's just, you know, part of, part of, that's part of my job. You know, it's not, it's all of our jobs to, to stay ready. Um, but it was great to be out there. And kind of following up. I mean, for Kevin, only 11 shot attempts in general, just what did you see from him that maybe would have, or the Celtics defense that <laughs> took his number of attempts down? Well, I think we can do a better job offensively of getting him, getting him better looks, um, getting him some freedom, at least, like I said, they're great defensively, but. Um, I think there's ways to, to help him. I mean, he does, he does all that for us, you know, through the regular season and, and, and most of the time in the playoffs, but, you know, we, we definitely can do a better job of getting him, getting him free a little bit. Hey Blake, we just heard from Steve and he was mentioning how there's a lot of self-inflicted wounds. Why do you think at times there's so much second guessing on offense? Um, you know, Uh, we, we, you know, Andre and Seth have been here for, I don't know, a month and a half. Kevin was out when they got here. Then Kevin came back. I don't know that we've played, you know, a lot of games together. Um, but you know, there, there's other teams that are like that, that have, that have made trades and, and haven't really had a cohesive unit for the entire season. But, um, I think our attention to detail needs to go up. Um, and that's from everybody you know, players included and, and um, especially players, obviously we're out there. So um, I think we all just need to, you know, take a look in the mirror and, and, and watch the tape and, and, you know, be real with ourselves and, and, and ask ourselves what we can do to be better. Um, Cause it's, you know, it's, it's top to bottom. Are you confident that enough adjustments can be made by Monday? Yeah. I mean, I think, um, You know, tomorrow when we come in, uh, we'll talk about it and see what the coaching staff has for us. And um, the only great thing about this team, you know, Lamarcus, Kevin, 
Kai, Goran, you know, these guys have been Patty. These guys have seen, you know, a lot of playoff games. Um, I've seen some. So um, we collectively have have some knowledge as well. So, um, you know, see what the coaches have for us and, and, and go through it. And like I said, bring a certain amount of intensity the next couple of days and also have, you know, have the right spirit the next couple of days, I think is important for us. I don't know that our spirit was right tonight. I got two quick ones for you. Just you were questionable earlier today with your ankle. I mean, were you feeling that out there at all tonight? Uh, once you get out there, you know, the adrenaline, no. And then you were the two threes to make it, you know, one possession game or right within <clears throat> striking distance and they hit right back. Just what, what's so tough about them, about stringing together stops like that on them? You know, they just, they, they, for the most part, they play within themselves. I mean, they know, you know, Jason's their go-to guy. Um, Jalen obviously had a good game. I mean, for them, I think part of it is defensively, they just, you know, they'll get a stop, they'll get a steal, they'll, you know, push the ball. Um, they'll push the ball sometimes after makes. Um, so, uh, you know, transition defense is a big thing for us in this series. And, um, we, you know, those are the, 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 that's the attention to detail um, sort of that I, that I was talking about. I mean, that's just, that's just effort and, and taking care of the ball. Uh, Blake, you've obviously been in the uh, league a long time. You've played in dozens of playoff games. Is this as, as good a collective defensive effort as you've ever seen against a superstar player in, in Kevin? And if so, what specifically about their defense has impressed you the most in regards to Kevin? Um, this is a, this is a great defensive team. Um, you know, I, I you know, there's different styles of basketball. I played against Memphis in the playoffs, you know, when they were kind of that grit and grind defense. Um, San Antonio in the playoffs is always good defensively. But I, I think what it impresses me the most is their ability to shrink the floor and then also get out to, to everybody else. Um, they they just do a phenomenal job at it. Um, but that just means we have to be, you know, sharper. Mentioned uh like the team spirit is that, do you see that in just the ability to, to rebound from a deficit or what, what, do you, what specifically did you see that led you to feel that the spirit wasn't where it needed to be? I think in the playoff series, I mean, coming home down 02, um, coming home that first game at home, uh, I think, you know, the, the, your spirit's gotta be high. I mean, you can't, you, I don't know. It's tough to say exactly what, what I saw. I just felt like we didn't, we didn't have the right spirit um, throughout the entire game. I mean, teams go on runs and it's a game of runs. Um, but, you know, we have the firepower and, and we have the, the talent to, to withstand runs and also make runs ourselves. And I think uh, when other teams make runs, we need to do a better job of, you know, just weathering it and, and, and keep going, you know, not let it affect us. No, it's collectively everybody, everybody. Entre voces, Laura Bonilla, Oniel Batista y Michelle Pineda. Esto es Entre voces.